All right, the other day, you saw me drop my Lexus a couple inches and throw some new tires on it. And today I got something else. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and see what we got here. I think it's time to open up a box. Couldn't find my steak knife, so I guess this razor blade will have to do. Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm not putting any bead in this car just yet, but that stock battery is so ugly that I had to put something worthy in this car. So, I mean, even though I'm not putting any bead in this thing at the moment, I will eventually, but, you know, I'm not sure which battery you'd rather have when you're out in the middle of nowhere, but I'll go ahead and take this excess power for Should sure. Should be a piece of cake to install. I got a couple little terminals there. And, as you know, you should always give your batteries a nice charge on the excess power charger before you put them in. And uh, I will do just that. So I'll see you here in a little bit when I'm ready. Alright, got some terminals. So the D2400 is supposed to fit right in that spot. We will find out if it does or not. Alright, as you can see, this thing came right out of the box with 12.9 uh, volts. So it's already in good shape. So before I go ahead and turn this on, alright, so this job can be done with basic tools, a little ratchet. Got to use this little guy right here for for the bracket, and uh, shouldn't be very hard at all. The hell? Panasonic? So we got a direct replacement for the old Panasonic Lexus battery. And this one says, do not tip. Well, I'll tell you what. You could tip this one all you want. You could turn it upside down, on its side, whatever you want. It's non-spillable, you know. So it's not just pretty, it's a good battery. So let's go ahead and drop it over in that empty hole. Clamp it down and call this job done. Pretty simple procedure. How many people with a Lexus do you know that have a brand new excess power battery just for the car? No beat, just to run my electronics, you know. Good shit. Alright, there you have it. Alright, so that other battery would have probably worked okay for your basic standard needs. But like I said earlier, which one would you rather be caught in a snowstorm with? Which one would you rather be caught with if you're out in the middle of the desert with your family and everybody in the back? I know me personally, I'll take the excess power all day long. 